All right. Our uh, next pre presenter here comes straight from the uh, Downey uh, Columbia Memorial Space Center, Jared Head. <sighs> Woo -hoo. All right. Awesome. So I call this talk Four Simple Rules to Make Space Flight Awesome to People Who Don't Know Much About Space Flight. It's a little bit long, but I think it's going to be a good one. So in my dealing with the public, uh, there's been four very fundamental things I've been doing in order to make sure that when I talk to the public, they actually understand what I'm talking about. First of all, we can all agree that space is the best thing ever. It's better than cake. It's better than air. It's better than water. It's better than nice grilled cheeses and other things. <laughs> we can also agree that public support is very instrumental for space flight, whether it be public, private, government, any type of space flight requires public support. And you absolutely need to engage the public when you're doing that. Very, very instrumental. And we can all agree right now that public interest is pretty low in space flight. In fact, sometimes people fall asleep when, you t when I hear talks about space flight. It's not the best thing ever. So I've come up with these four rules to make it exciting. First of all, space is difficult, dangerous, and that's freaking awesome. <laughs> Things go wrong. At least when it's unmanned, it's awesome. So you have to ride explosions to get into space. How crazy is that? And then when you get into space, there's things like debris. Orbital Something. debris just wants to slam into you. It wants to destroy you're your nice up, little yeah. space shuttle. I'm, I'm it really the, does. It's, it's just a crazy environment that we have to go into. You know, plus 250, minus 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Sur planetary surfaces don't like you either. They want to cut your spacesuits. They want to tear your lungs up. They're just, it's so dangerous. How did this even happen? Because under. it was awesome, that's why. Slip it <laughs> and clip it. And also, in. it's not just that. The sun, it hates you. Okay. And every 11 years, it tries to kill time? you. But it doesn't, because we have this thing called an atmosphere, which is great. Also, there's things that want to hit the Earth, because they don't like the Earth either. That's what makes it so awesome. So, my second rule now is that you must be very much like a kid, not like a bitter old man. I know this gets beaten up all the time, and rightfully so, but we can't sound like bitter old people when we're talking to people out there today. We have to talk like kids, you know, think outside of the box. If they said, hey, you need to go to sleep, why don't you just bring your sleep down to them, you know? <laughs> you need to put a full effort into it when you're talking to people. You gotta be super excited about what you're talking about. I mean, just look at him, he's gone through 50 quarters. Put everything into it, you know? Just, just <laughs> beat people to the punch. And you know what? Don't be afraid to take a fall every once in a while because it happens because of gravity and other things like that. <laughs> just don't be afraid of it. Also, don't be afraid to look silly up here. I mean, seriously, it's great fun when you do that. And also, don't be afraid to show a little passion when you actually enjoy something. And go out and tell people about it. And in fact, that is what our third rule is going to be. It's make people care. Okay, I have a confession to make. I run this Twitter account called It's Pioneer 10, and I tweet as the Pioneer 10 probe on its way out. This is one way you can make people care. You can actually tweet as probes. I wouldn't recommend any of the probes currently. Tell people about MSL. Tell people about Grail. These are two absolutely fantastic missions. And of course, this one, very famous, because it did something last week uh, that was very, very difficult. And Grail's very cool because we're doing something with the moon we've never done before. And don't forget to talk about these people, too, because they're just as important as NASA is. I mean, new space and the private space flight industry. I mean, this is going to put people like me, really excited people who may or may not have a lot of money into space. And don't forget, we can also make it pop culture, too. You know, oh. <sighs> and maybe we need, maybe we need new haircuts as well. I mean, I'm just saying, if it works for him, it might. And we need to tell everyone that we can. We've talked to these guys. They're not really good at listening to anyone <laughs> as far as we're concerned. So it's not been very good here, but go out and talk to the public and other people like that. You know, show people ISS passes, go to space ups, do Team IS-5, excited. I mean, come on. It's, it's just, just get excited about it and don't forget to go out and tell people about it because if you tell everyone, they're going to go tell everyone as well and that helps. Go on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Tumblr, do it everywhere. Let everybody know about how amazing space flight is, both private and government. And, 
all the different things we're doing, human space flight, robotic space flight. I really love outer space, and you should too. And my name is Jared, and thank you guys for listening to me tonight. <laughs>